So today I'm in the Ferrari Portofino, a 3.9 litre V8 turbo engine with 591 horsepower, does 0 to 62 in 3.5 seconds and 0 to 124 miles per hour in 10.8 seconds. It's a top speed of 199 miles per hour. An F1 seven speed dual clutch transmission, weight of 1.6 tons, carbon ceramic brakes. Combined fuel consumption of 26.4 miles per gallon. This puts it on a par with older family cars, but with more horsepower than Lamborghini Diablo. The exterior is curvaceous, muscly and taut, the wall poster supercar, especially in the Ferrari Rosso paint, which adds glossy depth to the sheen. The Ferrari Portofino captures the ultimate sports car shape, the one you dreamt of as a child. I know it's wrong to lust after a machine, but this has been so beautifully crafted. The platonic embodiment of perfection, the shadow on the wall, the distillation of the quintessential sports car, an elemental fusion of every classic car rolled into one. It's stunning with the roof up and with the roof down becomes the racing car of your dreams. The retractable hardtop roof and supports disappear into the boot in 14 seconds, up to 25 miles per hour. The mechanism is fascinating to watch. The rear window folds under the roof, then the roof and window fold back along with the pillars disappearing into the top of the boot, leaving you enough room for two travel cases or a large suitcase. And you can also put two travel cases in the back seat or two small adults. The interior is refined and sporty, decked out in luxurious Scudoni leather with carbon fiber touches. It smells like a classic sports car, fresh mature of the town on the Italian Riviera from whence it derives its name. The sport seats arrange in 18 different ways and are genuinely comfortable. A treat for the back, there is lumbar support too. The leather dash with contrast stitching is pleasingly modelled on the wing of a plane with the protruding vents as jet engines. It has electric power steering, which is fast and light. The flat bottom steering wheel is a pleasure, though I wouldn't have the carbon fibres. Stick with the leather, it's far more classical. The indicators, start, stop, windscreen wipers and lights are all on the wheel with the paddles just behind though it is irksome that the indicator buttons then rotate around with the wheel. You can opt for an additional passenger display with music, speed, sat-nav, and presumably the nearest jewelry stores all clearly marked. The driver's dual display feeds you the sat-nav speed and infotainment, though I would like to see the addition of a heads-up display um, that shows the current speed limit, as I'd like to keep my license clean. Performance is of course dynamic, masterful and everything you would expect from a Ferrari. It even has the same award-winning engine as the Ferrari 488. So you get the full Ferrari testosterone and titillation on every drive. The accelerator pedal should be played like a concert piano, with maestro-like command. Tiny movements to get exactly the revs desired. It then delivers emotional notes worthy of angels. Power to launch you like a mythical winged lion with brakes that stop as if reaching the end of a chain attached to a wall. The F1 gearbox is not built for comfort but total control of your speed and efficient deceleration. Brutal and yet smooth enough and huge fun to play with. The engine shrieks on the downshifts are strident evoking an F1 racetrack. The sound from that 3.9 litre engine is throaty and rich, almost boat-like. You can hear the fuel bubbling and burning at the slightest touch of the pedal. It's pointless playing music as the V8 sounds infinitely more melodious. A valve opens up in sport mode, which kicks the engine up a note. From the bass cough and gurgle, you get in comfort mode. The Portofino has been balanced to deliver everything you really need without wasting anything on frills. You don't need all the carbon fibre whatnots, just get the Magnaride dual mode suspension, just over 3,000, and you'll have a Ferrari that's outrageously fast and very comfortable. You also get seven years free maintenance with a yearly service, irrespective of mileage. This is both beauty without and beast under the hood. To paraphrase the singer Mark Cohen, I think the Pope would agree, if there's a God in heaven, he's got a Ferrari Portofino. If the devil ever offers you this car, in exchange for your soul, don't hesitate. Just make sure he throws in the Rosso paint. How to really judge this then? 
With the roof down, it is heart-stoppingly gorgeous. With faultless performance and a classic Ferrari racing interior, your excitement and an adrenaline levels will spike every time. Whilst it's still comfortable enough to drive every single day. Presented as the entry-level Ferrari, it's more like a gateway drug. One that may well see you sell your house for it with no regrets. It's love at first sight for the stunningly beautiful and slightly more affordable Italian supercar.